হাডেন কজিং আং নোট কবাদা কি ফাও ফাও সাম নদো মনসুয়া জঙ্গি পাই বাদ নং সংস নং জিরং কনস্টুয়েন্সি বনয় নো ইউ সুর কবা ভা বাদ কবা পাকা না কবনতা বানপন সুক একা লেক কাওয়ান বাদ কা কিট কবা জঙ্গি নং সংস নং জঙ্গাথাই ওয়েস্টার্ন রিভয় কানে কজিং আং নোট জঙ্গি পাই বা জঙ্গা ওয়েস্টার্ন রিভয় কালাওয়ান ওরলং হাডেন কজিং ত্রৈ সিটম বা কজিং সিমখিয়া জং এম এল এগা জিরং কনস্টুয়েন্সি বাস সস্থেন সটুন হা কবা মনতা কাশি লাই বানবু নো ইউ মাউন রিম জঙ্গা সুর কবা নাদু না উমদু হাদু উমরেন কাবাডন কমবা লাইফ ওই কিলোমিটার এ এই ইউনে মাউন রেম লাওয়ান বন প্লে পাইবা আদ মেন্ট্রি রংবা আকাজিল্লা উচ্রি কনরাট কে সংমা বাদ উসম্বুদ মেন্ট্রি রংবা আকাজিল্লা উবা প্রেসডন তিনসং হারংকার কচিং দনলং ই ডেপুটি কমিশনার কারি ভয় ডিস্ট্রিক ইকং আর এম কুরবা বাদ কি অফিসার জঙ্কাতনাথ পিডব্লিউ ডি না কালেন কিনে কি মেন্ট্রি কিলো অং বা কচিং পেন্ট্রে ইয়ে কে সুরক অনসদং নো সেন হা কিনে কি খেন্ডিয়াত বাই কি বন ওয়ান লাওয়ান বন সাকি লংরু ইয়ে কে কী দা কিনং এলাম হিমা কিনং এলাম রাই কিনাই to travel through that road isar yo ga sokmen hagno ko por jo ka ar par tarik jo banai agos ar ajar khat kan bai yo ba na kwa ba yaj na ga negalenti ka basne ba ngan duktep ye ke jinge na mar ba yem kwa ba tang ki pat ba ke ye ke do ye ke jinge ba kin ma ye ke jinge hen rei na do chi minister deputy chi minister u emele jo phi ই কোয়াংিনপল my constituency will get the benefit thank you so much sir and after one year tang hati and she snap ka jing e kren ga jongi lawan no long no surak uba life way kilometer tam ato kanum de ga jing men nam ta jo phi ki pai ba kandai na kandai ga jing men nam ta jo phi ki pai ba kane ga dai ka jing ga jing sim kya ka jong ki nong yalam ki jong ni na kan mau ha ki dis ni ko ile meeting ba di chief minister ja dali dan way na ki minister ramba ante ha dali wong kalong kumno kari bhoi district kalong kumno kata ka aspirational district tengi le athu kana hak bidai ba kerut sektor ba syatsa tikam kitu ya kaban penbit penbiang ya karibhoi district baro kawai menta kadi ka benengkong na kaliang jo ka walbang bang ibu mau nong rim ya kene ka surok ka jompi ibadah satu nila batai bahan adong sedong nanta susu ngin sabu mau nong rim su sa kumbalai teli ki projek jongkeri boy district kawai ka bengi ong ka umsning jatirut sa kawai ka bengi ong ka nongpo umden sunapor rut kini ru ki bangir sakot tenda no she kata kade ka aspirational district bat ka amount jong kini ki project kan om duna tang hapori boy district ya ka lais pa klor tengka dengan sobot ong bakari boy district na kata kadao kadai kabadon bok tam 
naki khatwe teli distrik mapi pidei ka distrik ka badon bok tam balenga ong ka badon bok tam namartan hak root sektor kum manga ong ye pi nub dunai ka lais paklor ka bapinya sakawai ka project ka bangai tu ye pi ka bamentang ngi dari sukot tendar mentang ka sini sapa amo ya ka western ka western riboy na lor ka ne ka begini wan bu na mau 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 no rim ngi sabu mau no rim sakawai bat kata ka surok ka dei nante na mairan ka bang pilo i i ku makolong menta ngin pen baha syu syu induna ya ka sispa kandai popular tengka menta ka tot tenda Kas sedang ketendar mata kas ngingat rai Yo ofsa tu nak kita nanti Bat ngikwa bahau benai Uben nengkong januari ngini wakang sedang no Ia kan ni kas rok bak Balai ke pelong ia kas rokar Hapa kejeng lam jong cip Pindu setar jongi Bang ngikwa Ban penbit penbiang ia kan ni kas rok Ngan ia tuh ipi kawai kenusah kai kebajia Hakato hakato kapor punya ki si ebi Akan mau isi berita mengapa kewek kewek minister ni hapan yang marah sedelhi berlek meeting. Teh kewek ke step kami nislon berlek siapa airport gawati. Teh suah dengan poy hanong po. Kila pun kita dipulit kau membasar sebab awat ia cuk nabel tola. Lada kalung kepala kau ngiat nok nam nena umling. Na umling poy sene sepo sepo kasnong jo piang ni patar kma bat mi bet sa airport in the assembly a local MLA of Jiran constituency Shri S Sotun our local MDC and EM in Kasiyas autonomous District Council, Shri Victor Rani, our Deputy Commissioner, and uh, the SP of Riboy District, the Secretary of PWD, and the Chief Engineers of respective departments who are present out here. The Hima of Nongklao and the Hima of Jirang. All the distinguished uh, guests who are present here on the dais today. And all my friends who have come here to witness the foundation laying ceremony of this very important road that has been sanctioned by the PWD department today. I first of all would like to thank Almighty for this wonderful day that he has given to all of us. And indeed today is a very historic day because this very important road which had been neglected for many, many years. Today we are going to start by laying the foundation stone for this particular road, which I'm sure will lead to major transformation in the economic condition of the people living in this area. I would like to thank our Honorable Deputy Chief Minister under whose able leadership there has been a huge transformation in the PWD department. In the last two and a half years this government and the PWD department 
under the leadership of Mr. P. Tinsaw, has sanctioned more than 5,000 crores of schemes. Whether PMGSY, whether national highways, whether World Bank projects, projects under CRF, and projects under the state scheme. I will not be wrong to say that in the last two and a half years, we have seen historic investment being made in the road sector. And the main reason why we have done that is because this government truly believes that economic development starts with good infrastructure and good roads. If we have good roads, economic prosperity begins. Transformation begins. So last two and a half years, the kind of projects that have been taken up, the areas that have been covered are areas which have been neglected for many, many years. And that is the reason why, apart from the amount that has been sanctioned, the fact that many, many interior roads, roads which were neglected for many years, have now been taken up by this government. I was informing the assembly when we were having the session that roads, including this one, but other roads like roads from Nongstoin to Mauet, a road that is very, very economically important for the state and the people, which had been left unattended to for more than 40 years. It is this government and the PWD department which has taken up even that road and the work for that road shortly in the month of January or February. Like that, there are many, many other roads, like the roads in Garo Hills. For example, the oldest road in Garo Hills which was, or which is, the Rongram Dading Pulbari Road, which has never been taken up in a major way. For the first time, the PWD department will be repairing that road or constructing a new road on that with an amount of almost 145 crores. So therefore, this government has laid a lot of stress on infrastructure development, especially road development, because we truly believe that economic prosperity starts with having good roads. I thank the Honorable Local MLA, who has been persistent and very committed when it comes to his constituency. He was mentioning in his speech that the sun is going to shine today for this area because this road is going to be started. I would like to say that the sun started shining on this constituency the day he was elected as MLA. Because after his becoming the MLA of Jirang constituency, maximum infrastructural projects, including roads, Colleges, schools, or different kind of other projects have been taken up during his tenure now as MLA. And I'm sure that under his leadership and his guidance, that was done by the farmers out here. Today happens to be 
Farmers Day. Meghalaya government had announced in the Farmers Parliament last year that we will celebrate 4th of December every year as the Farmers Day. So it was very appropriate that we had this dance and it may look like a very simple dance for all of us but there was so much depth in what they were doing because it is the farmers that give us the food it is the farmers that gives us life I dedicate this day to the farmers of our state and I like like to thank them for all the contributions that they have made to their family, to their village, to their society and to the state as a whole. I would like to also inform everybody that to mark the Farmers Day, Government of Meghalaya has decided from this year onwards, this year we will start through the Agriculture Department we will be selecting different beneficiaries from different parts of the state in the first phase to start distributing these Mahindra pickups and these power tillers to our farmers. Apart from that, to mark the Farmers Day, I would also like to inform that we have started the process of selecting 20 farmers market. These will be markets that will be owned and run by the farmers and Meghalaya government will help them construct it and hand it over back to them. This will be a series of markets which will be put up and we start with 20 in this financial year itself. At the same time, I'm happy to inform everybody that the government of India just last week has decided to sanction 65 crores to put up the mega food park in our state of Meghalaya. This investment of 65 crores will go a long way in developing the overall farming sector and the food processing sector in our state. And I would like to thank the government of India for this particular sanction that they have given to us. Another historic decision that was made by this government was a decision to give interest subvention of 2% for the KCC loans that have been taken by all the farmers of our state. This has never been done in the past and it will be done this time for the first time and we hope to continue this interest subvention for more and more farmers as they take the KCC loan in order to support them financially in difficult times. So therefore, once again, I would like to wish all the farmers of our state a very happy Farmers Day. Friends, apart from that, will be giving us the list and based on that, we will be improving the infrastructure in these four LP schools in Jiran constituency and 200 such schools in the entire state. And this will continue every year for the next three years. And we expect to cover more than 600 schools and spend approximately 500 crores to improve the infrastructure in the elementary schools throughout the state. Apart from that, we also intend to improve the health infrastructure by spending 350 crores in the next five years, or next three years in the state of Meghalaya to ensure that the sub-centers and the different public health centers and the community health centers, the overall infrastructure improves in these areas.